Hi there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and paper crafter here on YouTube, and I'm going to do some customized pet peekaboo cards that look like my critters and encourage you to do the same with your critters. And it's this darling little mini peekers set from Impression Obsession with a dog and a cat. Funny sentiments, oops, is a great one, and hey, or hello which is pretty much what every animal is saying when they're peeking over the bed. And you could put a bed down below them, you could put a table down below them, lots of different things that they could be peeking over. You could put your knees down below them. <laughs> they can do all kinds of funny stuff. They could also be peeking out from under a bed, so you could put a, a bedspread hanging above them and dark color behind them so it looks like they're under the bed. That would be kind of fun too. I'm going to make them peeking over top of a, a table though. So with the colors that I'm using to do punch here, because I'm going to do one of each of my two cats and two dogs, I'm trying to figure out how to make the colors that are in him. He's He's got a lot of brown hairs mixed with gray hairs, mixed with black hairs, mixed with white hairs in all of his fur. He's just got like tons of different colors when I look at a picture of him really close up. and to create that, I'm layering colors. I started with that bright brown color, and if I had started with a darker brown color, by the time I added all these other grays and blacks on top, I wouldn't have much of the brown left, so I made it a bright color. But most of the time, the colors that we get in our, we have in our marker collections and stuff, they tend to be brighter than natural colors. So if you want your cat and your dog to look like they're real, use a little more grays in there and dull things down a little bit because most cats and dogs are not actually that color. His paws immediately, as soon as I go over them with that gray, immediately look more natural. And they also, having all those grays and things allows his green eyes to really pop. So that's another helpful thing too. Punch has some very distinctive black spots, so I'm gonna add a bunch of his little little bits of black fur on him, because I want this to look very much like him. If you can't get little teeny tiny lines using your just barely the tip of your Copic marker, you could always finish your Copic work and then go in for your last coat with a pencil, color pencil. That works great over top of Copic and allows you to get lots of detail in there that you might not normally be able to get otherwise. So finish up getting all of his little black hairs in there, looking very much like my little punch. And then throwing in a little more gray to try to blend some of those areas out just a little bit more. And I think I got his coloring pretty darn good. And next up is Miss Suki. She is my black cat. And she is very, very old. She's my oldest pet, has been around for a long time, and I actually have been wondering for a couple years how much longer she's gonna stick around, and she just keeps sticking around. She is the cat that just does not wanna give up the ghost, and no matter that she's like hugely fat, she's actually getting herself back into shape lately, which is kind of surprising. She's getting a little more exercise. She's starting to come out and hang out with the dogs more and doesn't like hiding under the bed anymore which is a surprise because that's where she spent quite a long time did not like the dogs before and she was like the see sad eyebrows i was just playing as i was doing this and giving her like sad expression and then you can give her angry expression and make the eyebrows kind of come down you can make your cat have all kinds of expressions and I knew I was gonna put a lot of fur on her, so I was just goofing around and giving her different di different shapes for her eyebrows <laughs> as I was going, just to see what that would look like. So you can do the same as well. And she's got a little tiny, just a little bit of white fur that sticks up out of her ears, but everything else on her is like seriously black. She's got really dark eyes dark everything so I've been known to step on her at night because she is black cat black cat black cat all over but to make a cat look like it's black without looking like a blob you need to leave enough gray so that there's some highlights there so I'm working on figuring out how to get 
a little bit of that blending going but leave some of those gray highlights so that I don't end up with just a giant big black blob and little by little I can add a little more color a little more to start to blend some of those colors together so it doesn't end up looking like individual furs all over the place little pieces of fur everywhere but she's looking pretty good and we've got some little highlights on those paws so the paws do look like they're up in front for her eyes we give her nice dark 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 eyes so she disappears into her fur like she always does and now we're on to the puppies and I'm gonna do giallo first and it is just about his birthday he's two years old now my boys getting bigger and bigger and I'm using a more reddish color than I normally do for him a lot of people when they see pictures of him think he's like this really reddish gold color and he's he's somewhat more reddish than a lot of other goldens he's not as yellow as some of them but I still don't think of him as super red he's not like a like an Irish setter kind of red but what he does have and I started really looking at him closely for this particular video is he's got a lot of black around his eyes almost like he's got mascara so I was like trying to give him mascara here and it looks a little weird before everything else is on there so hang tight don't give up on me yet and I'll start adding more shadows to other things first the nose and then start trying to blend out some of those colors um, by giving him some dark elements elsewhere so he doesn't look like he's really got mascara on because that's kind of what this looks like at the moment but you know my stuff it always looks like a hot mess until it doesn't <laughs> which is just the way it is I recently had a class at my church where I was teaching some drawing to a bunch of people that were church members and one of my drawings totally was working working into the whole hot mess genre and I just kind of told them the whole hot mess story and they all looked at me like I was out of my mind and then I realized I'm not with my crafter peeps <laughs> you guys totally get me and my silly sense of humor they don't know me particularly well and a lot of them are much more serious about their art they don't take themselves very lightly at all so had to work on loosening him up just a little bit now one of the things I noticed about this color that I had picked was that it was way too bright so I went in with a blue violet color to just kind of dull the whole thing down so look at how nice it it kind of brings the intensity down just enough that he still looks like a golden dog but doesn't have that that glaring unnatural kind of color so little by little adding more depth and blending and stuff to the nose and he's almost done but I wanted to add he's got like a little more dark gray right around the snout and I also wanted to put the gray in the snout to make it look like it's underneath he kind of lost the highlights in his eyes so I added them back in with a white pen a little bit more on the nose and now I'm gonna move on to Vienna I'm going to do the table underneath each one of them when I'm all done just so you don't think I'm leaving all of that undone with just floating dogs and cats so Vienna is now two and a half my girl is just getting bigger and more beautiful and more sweet every single day when she first came to me and she first came to me when I, I we think she was six or eight months old at the time she was 25 pounds lighter and even now she's a stick I can't get her to put weight on wish I had her secret whatever that is but she was skittish and all kinds of things she wasn't a snuggler and boy I tell you in the last probably two or three months she has become the ultimate snuggler so every morning she has snuggle time with me so when I'm either on my computer or sitting on my phone doing stuff she's got to be right there with me laying her head on me and stuff taking over wants to have her snuggle time and she's happy to let me work and stuff but 
She likes to have her snuggle moments. Giallo is my evening snuggler, so he likes to go to sleep with me. But she's my morning snuggler. And between the two of them, they they just got to have their own routines, their own time for having with mom there. But she's she's a doll. She's I just love her to pieces. And I kind of picked a general birth date for her since we have no idea when it is. And so February 14th is the day we celebrate her birthday. So she's about two and a half right now going by that that particular date. So I'm going to try here adding more definition to her so that she ends up with more than just a gray blob as well. Because of course she's got her black eyes and her black ears. But I wanted to give more definition there and give them the chance to look realistic rather than just looking like a solid blob of color. And I'm going to add that by creating some dark shapes kind of around her eyes and stuff. And, and with her, giving her the sad eyebrows is totally appropriate because she always gives me the sad eyebrows. Like, you never feed me, you never pet me, you never anything. Because, yeah, that's my girl. And she knows it works. That's the thing. Giallo just jumps on me and says, pet me now, dang it. You know, that's, he just, he insists. She just begs so sweetly and looks like no one ever loves me. <laughs> so for each one of these, I'm just going to throw a brown table down here. And literally to make a brown wood table, throw on some kind of a medium reddish brown. I'm going to throw some dark brown down at the bottom and then just go over it with a couple of browns that you have ink in. Mine were running out so I would kind of change my mind. Oh maybe I'll maybe I'll have a table that'll be this color and then I kind of got to the end and was changing the color one more time so I had a little less of that red in it and allowed the reddish color in each of their eyes or or their fur to kind of stand out more by dulling down the color that's on the wood. So there are my puppy and kitty cards and I hope you make some with your puppies and kitties because it's way fun and they're really simple cards to make once you get the hang of it. Once you figure out how to make the fur on them you can make that table and make it a scene without a whole lot of work at all. So if you're interested in the supplies, they're in the doobly-doo. Click the like button if you enjoyed this. Share it with your friends, and I will see you guys again next time. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.